Oftentimes, UI questions have a lot of ambiguity. In today's video, I want to tackle a commonly asked question at Google for people who are going into design roles, research roles, and maybe even a product role. The goal of these questions is really to uncover your problem solving capabilities. So in this video, let's cover the question of, imagine you have three different UIs and you want to know which one is best, what would you do? I compiled data from asking this question to our clients. I also went and did a little bit of research, but admittedly, this is not my skill set. This is not my area. And so if you follow a methodology, if you specifically use the CFAST method, clarify, framework, assumptions, solutions, this is really going to set the system that's going to help you like it's going to help me answer questions where maybe we're not an expert. So let's dive in. Item one is clarifying questions, and there are a number of questions to clarify in this specific interview question. In each section, we're just going to prompt with the question just so we can remember and get better flow. So imagine you have three different UIs and you want to know which one is best. What would you do? Okay, we have three different UIs. That's really a critical data point. And then the word best. Okay, we want to fixate a little bit on best too and, and uncover some items with that word. So the first item we need to know is, are we testing one specific feature of three different UIs or are these completely different UIs? That's going to start by establishing the complexity. Then we just want to know the stage of the design process we're in. Are we in the research phase, the testing phase, or are we already in production? This is going to be the historical data piece. Then we want to really kind of fixate and focus on, well, what are we actually going to look at? Are we going to look at the design, the functionality, usability, performance, accessibility, or all those items? And that's really starting to chop into what do we mean by best? What are we trying to focus in on when we ask that question of best? Then we're going to look at the users. So are we actually testing this with users? What's the level of the user? Are they an expert, casual, or new user? Are we targeting a specific age, gender, geography? And is this for an internal or external facing audience? These questions, again, will tell us a little bit more about the user. It's a lot of questions. And then are these user interfaces for hardware, software? Are they mobile focused, desktop focused? This will tell us a little bit more about the physical setup. And then lastly, are we conducting the research in a lab? Are we doing it remotely because of COVID? Are we doing A-B testing? These questions will establish the how. Item two, framework. I identified 21 concepts. I know it's a ton. 21 concepts that we might want to just touch on in terms of getting us organized for our answer. Yeah, this is, this is absolutely way too many. But what I wanted to emphasize is here are all the different directions you could take with a framework in answering this question. Again, let's prompt with the question. Imagine you have three different UIs and you want to know which one is best. What would you do? So some operational concepts we might want to focus in on for a framework would be goals and objectives, historical data, risks, and of course we would want to focus in on that user. Now, if we want to get a little bit more specific, we can go back to one of those clarifying questions and focus more on Hey, should we focus on visual design, functionality, usability, performance, accessibility, or anything related to compliance? Then within those topics, we can go even one layer deeper. Now you could do that layer deeper in the solution, or you could introduce these concepts in the framework, something like looking at clarity, simplicity, relevancy, consistency, discoverability, productivity, and then looking at the overall usefulness. Then lastly, another particular framework that we could use or some framework concepts we might want to look at are just the overall needs and wants of the users, their challenges and pain points, their motivations, and ultimately the conversion of these users. So I'm with you. This is just way too much. You might focus in on one of these areas specifically you might use a hybrid of these concepts, but they're all some concepts that you just want to be thinking through. And don't forget about the transition. So when we get to the end of the framework, we would prompt our interviewer, Sue, with something like, Sue, I think we should focus in on usability. 
but is there an area that you'd like to focus on? So that sets the tone. We are taking control by picking something, but we're also showing flexibility by building the space for Sue to pick one of those items. And again, we would not deliver a framework with 21 concepts. It could be three, it could be five, it could be 10. 21 would be too many. Item three, assumptions. So the number one item with assumptions is creating a great visual so you can build strong connectivity. And of course, in a design research or product role, visuals are gonna be key. So that would be one area to focus in on. Then you're gonna to wanna to focus on a little bit more on the methodology in your assumptions. And then of course, in this question, you might wanna just focus a little bit more on the number of users. So imagine you have three different UIs and you wanna know which one is best, what would you do? Remember, we're transitioning from the framework, so it would sound something like, Sue, if we're focusing on usability, I wanna make a few assumptions. Let's say we're testing three iterations of one specific feature. Uh, let's say maybe, let's pick a Google product like Google Analytics and we're looking at different dashboards, for example. So we wanna test these three UIs, ideally in person if we can, and let's utilize some manual tests. So now we have the visual setup of the product, we know the physical setup, and we know the approach. Item four, the solution. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna go pretty high level on the solution. Remember, a good answer will always have multiple solutions. Your solution should be two minutes or less and focus in on one subject at a time. That one subject should be the framework concept or framework concepts that's attached to those assumptions. So let's prompt on the question one more time. Again, I'm just trying to build connectivity so we're staying connected to the question. Imagine you have three different UIs and you wanna know which one is best. What would you do? As always, keep the transitions going strong. So we'd say something like, Sue, okay, based on those assumptions, focused in on usability, first thing, we wanna focus in on one UI at a time if we're looking at it with these five specific users. We just want to basically see how they interact and we're going to focus on the usability of this design feature. So the way that we could do that is once we kind of establish the ground layer with these users, we can start using qualitative questions to figure out and determine, you know, what's working well and what is really problematic. And some of the questions that we might be asking are, you know, what's most appealing about this feature? Did anything surprise them when they were looking at it? Absolutely want to focus in on improvement. So what could we do to improve this feature? Was there anything actually missing from the feature? Based on what you saw today, would you actually use this feature? Would you use this specific dashboard if you were utilizing Google Analytics? And based on these questions, we'd really try to look at themes and patterns within these five people. And then we would test each different UI one by one, asking the same exact questions for each specific one. Then you really want to pivot to the transition. Again, that was a short solution, just a little over a minute probably. And so the prompt would be, Sue, we could look a little bit more into what that manual testing looked like from a visual perspective. We could talk a little bit more about the user base or we could flip and talk a little bit more about overall user motivations. Is there one area that you'd like to chat about? So I know that this solution is pretty lean, but what I wanted to do was just kind of introduce the users, ask some good questions, and then you would prompt into more solutions. I'm not an expert in the space, but if you could just stay this organized with good clarification, a strong framework, leaning that out a little bit, bringing in good assumptions, especially focused in on a visual, and then focused in on just that usability with questions to start, it is going to create a fantastic answer. I really hope that this video helped a little bit. If you'll throw into the YouTube comments anything I missed, because I'm sure I missed a lot of items in this space. If you like my content, please like. If you have any comments, please comment below. And if you like my overall content, please subscribe. Thanks so much.